Hi, I'm Paula Nutting, your musculoskeletal specialist. Today we're going to look at a muscle energy technique to improve our internal rotation and or our external rotation for our shoulder. First of all, we need to look at our natural range, our passive range of movement of the shoulder. So we're going to gently abduct the shoulder up to just slight of 90 and then let the arm passively external rotate. External rotation, we should get close to all the way down here, 90 degrees, and you can see by this movement that Ros is short. That could be because of the pec major, the lat dorsi, uh, and the teres major that will be decreasing that range. We look at our internal range. What's stopping it from going internally further forward? 70 to 90 is our normal range. And we're looking at subscap, our Terry, uh, in Terry's minor. So that various movement doesn't look comfortable for Roz. Muscle energy technique, we're going to take the arm into external rotation and apply muscle energy technique. So 40% of your effort, Roz, you're going to be pushing up into this part of your arm. I'm holding it still so there's no movement. Seven to ten seconds, take a breath in, Roz. And breathe out as you relax the arm. Can you see that the most important thing here is that the arm does not move. We don't change our joint angles. And we rest here. This is our post-relaxation contraction phase. Now we're going to allow it to find a new point of bind. Can you see I've gone back quite a bit further? And again, Ros, apply that contraction to here for me, pulling up. They don't pull really firmly. It's about 30 to 40% of their effort. Much firmer than that. You can't really take good control. It must be no less than seven seconds. Take a big breath in. Breathing out and relax. And it's quite gentle for your client. So if anyone's got shoulder range issues or pain, we know that this is going to be a nice, easy, gentle technique. Reasons you wouldn't do it is if there's a bony block when we come into these ranges. And can you see we've gotten a little further? One more time for me, Ros, please, pulling up. I always believe that we need to do it at a minimum of three times because it's actually that causative length of time that makes a change to the muscle. Seven to ten seconds. She's going to take a breath in for me and relax the shoulder completely as she breathes out. It's a really wonderful technique to open up muscles that are tight and we all know that our internal rotators will get quite tight because we do so much internal rotation work where our arms are always forward. How does that arm feel? Arm feels okay. The shoulder is about ready to crack. Okay, we're going to take it up through that range. Ros also has shoulder pathology. So we need to know that we're working both at muscle. There, so that resting length is a lot better than it was before. This is just one of the many techniques that we can use for the shoulder for muscle uh, restrictions. Be aware that if there's a joint restriction, as we just heard Roz talking about a little bit of pain back here, that we'd apply a mobilization technique or we would address something a bit deeper into that joint capsule as well. My name is Paula Nutting and I'm your musculoskeletal specialist.